Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. This is the Matchbox Cadillac Series Mix A. 400 boxes with 10 pieces in it, only 4,000 cars in total. That seems like a pretty low number. I've already pre cut the box because I needed uh, to take some pictures for the thumbnail. So let's start with number 1 out of 12 because there's six models in here 10 cars so a few doubles but there's 12 cars in total in the set so this is mix a and mix b will be the other ones we get the other six here we got the 2015 cadillac escalade so it's got a nice card art it's a, you know kind of a a nice mansion in beverly hills or somewhere in florida maybe with the caddy in front of it. So these are all on loan cards, international loan cards. So let's take a look. It's kind of a dark brown color. It's got the separate piece for the grill. That's a very nice touch. Makes it a little bit more expensive model for Matchbox to make, I think. Nicely detailed, tempo-wise, front and back. All the details we like to see. And here's the base for you. Then number two is the CTS Coupe. There's only one of those in here. same style of photograph or picture or drawing whatever you want to call it so all the cars are in front of the same house with the palm trees and stuff Cadillac CTS Coupe it's got a uh, silver color Cadillac on the license plate Got the, all the brake lights done and the CTS model name in the front of the grill, the logo, the lights. Nicely done again. Tear wise, it's okay. Not bad. Number three of twelve is a new model. That's the 1975 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Kind of a metallic orange color, red interior, chrome base. So that's cool that we get some uh, chrome on this. It's a completely chromed out front end. And in the back, there's quite a lot of chrome too. So basically, this just has a side deco, a little bit of a smoked windscreen windshield. Now, something I noticed here, and they cut a piece out of the interior to show the pedals, the three pedals that are kind of molded or casted into the base plate, the chrome base plate. Um, yeah, not a big fan of that because it makes the seat look very short and it seems like uh, it's done by hand, uh, cutting out. Uh, I'd rather not have them do that and just have a completely red interior base, a uh, red piece interior and not see the base through it, I mean. Uh, I don't care for the pedals that much and there's three of them. Wouldn't this be an automatic with only two pedals? I don't know. The steering wheel is a disc, but it's got some look of a steering wheel to it, so they're kind of doing an effort to make it look a little bit better. Not yet like it used to be in the old days, but you know, we have to do what, what we can get, I guess. Number four is the 1963 Cadillac Ambulance, also with the chrome on the base, awesome. Seems like these spe special sets get uh, special treatment with the extra chrome. 
that we usually don't get on the main lines. So again lots of chrome on the front and a bit on the back. Deco is all on the side here. So this is a Matchbox Fire Department paramedic vehicle. No blue windows so we don't get the blue cherry on top. So it's got the, lots of gear in the back. Interesting disc for a steering wheel. A little bit smoked windows. Then number five. There's only one off, just like the CTS Coupe. This is the 1969 Cadillac Sedan Deville. Kind of a pale yellow color. Again. Chrome, lots of it, love it. Tail lights done, some details the Cadillac logo, the uh, Cadillac name, and then some uh, side deco. Kind of disappointed, this is only one example in here. Sedan Deville, it says here on the panel in the back. And a yellow interior with the seat belts on the seats. Cool. Rather not have uh, this one two examples and have this two examples of, but you know, this is what it is. And then the last one, number six of 12, the 1941 Cadillac Series 62 convertible coupe. In black again with the chrome. So the headlights done, the grill painted, and then some paint on the side here. It's the version with the top up, so uh, it's got a different window piece that uh, mimics, or uh, yeah plastic piece that mimics the, the soft top. There's also a convertible version without the, the top up. Very nice model. Of course as usual I'm going to show some extra versions I have of these. So we start with the Escalade. I'll put the box to the side here so we can kind of move the cars back a little. So this version is what we got in this set. This is the first release which looks very similar. This was from 2018. You can see the 65th logo here. So the 15 Cadillac like Escalade. It's very similar but it's not the same. This is more gray and this is more brown. And when I saw the pictures of the set I thought they were going to be the same but they're not as you can see. I think the camera picks it up pretty well. The color difference so that's cool. Deco wise they are the same. Same rims too. Same dark tinted windows. Cool. And then the only other release of it is in this five pack from 2020 City Adventure, City Adventure 2. This metallic white version with the black rims. Pretty cool one too. They also did an older version of the Escalade. So here I got a uh, second hand one. The, the got at a swap meet in a nice blue color. So you get the deco in the front and in the back. There's a lighter blue version from a five pack called Modern Rides. 2006, the other one was 2004 and then I also got the last release of this uh, casting from 2010 flashy with the gold rims yeah pretty cool then we get to the CTS Coupe so this one, 
was in silver. The first release of this casting was also in silver. But I'm glad to see there's also kind of a shade difference. It's much uh, lighter silver. And this is kind of a dark grey. So pretty cool. They did do the effort to make it different. At least when it comes to the color. And the license plate is different too on these. Interior and rims are the same. So we looked at that already, I think. Yeah, we did. So I'm going to put these back in the back here. The ones from the set. So that was 2011, first release. Then 2014, this is uh, the next mainline version. This nice ultra red color. Let's see what it says on this license plate. Work higher, it seems to say. Some uh, digits in there. There's a rare variation of this with a silver interior, uh, sorry, a chrome interior. And then the last mainline release of this version, of this model casting, is in this nice blue color, 2016. Again, a different license plate. Kind of hard to tell what it means. There was also a black version from a 10 pack. I don't have that. That was uh, only available in the United States, so not uh, available here in Europe. Then we get to the Eldorado, which obviously was a new casting, so I can't show you any other versions of this, but they did have a Eldorado from uh, before, a older model. So this is a 1956. Cadillac like Eldorado, if I can read correctly, on the chrome. It's even got the side pipes. So it's pretty low, just like the, the new model actually. It's got the spare tire on the back. Also completely chrome. Headlights painted and the Cadillac -like logo. And a proper steering wheel like we used to have in the day. Door cars look good too, I must say. So yeah, pretty cool. They kind of made a newer model of it, although I would not mind them releasing this again because uh, this was only um, this was mostly released in US in the USA in the United States. I've got this from a five pack from uh, 2007. That's the only version I have. The only main mainline release it got was in 2006, kind of a pale green one. I don't have that one. So yeah, it's kind of hard to come by this casting if you're uh, uh, besides uh, the USA exclusive ones, which were mostly premium ones. Interesting casting. Then we get to the ambulance. So this is the first mainline release. By the way, most of the releases of this uh, ambulance, well, at least the first four releases of this ambulance were USA exclusive. So this one was also. Uh, that's why it's uh, on the American long card and I got this from my buddy Sir David Johns from Twice Diecast. Check him out on YouTube. Great channel. He got me this one. So Very appropriate in this white color first release. Lots of chrome again. It's got the license plate done. And these lights on top, cool. It's got the side deco done, Gene Mercy Hospital. And then front, lots of chrome. So yeah, this one still had a proper, well, an okay looking stereo. Maybe not, uh, maybe it's also kind of a disc, but at least it's got some distance from the dashboard where the new version just sits against the dash dashboard. Or as part of it, 
interior seems pretty much the same. So this was the original one with the all metal roof except for the cherry to stick out. Then the second mainline release I don't have, that's in, uh, in red. I do have one from the same year, from 2010, which is a Walmart exclusive. Again, thanks to my body David. This is in gold. So again, same features, chrome does not get the license plate nor the lights on top. Mr. Walt or M. Walter Hospital. Maybe that uh, alludes to Walmart, I don't know. Emergency vehicle. This is a lighter interior, maybe you can see a little bit more in here. Then Next up, 2011, this red one with a gold base and yellow windows. Custom Bionic rebuilding, ambulance, CBR, short, yep, flashy. This is 2012, kind of a pale yellow, beach patrol, surf dock. This one does have blue windows, so we get the blue cherry on top. Also white interior. The last original version was in 2013 in orange, don't have that one either. And then we got the retooling, 2015 from a five pack. So with the window on top, so less metal, but you also get a better view in the back what's in there. So still got the chrome, Matchbox County EMS, from a uh, EMS or EMT 5-pack. And the last one, 2016, mainline version. No more chrome, grey base. Beverly Hood EMT. Then we got the Sedan DeVille. Oh, sorry. First I wanted to show something different. And that's kind of a similar casting to the ambulance. And that's the hearse. Now this is the only version I have from a 5-pack. Um, this is hard to come by in Europe. I believe when this came out, back in the day, the original ones in the black, black one was the first one I believe. Um, some stores kind of didn't want to sell them. So maybe that's why they're hard to come by here in Europe. It has a coffin in the back and there's a hand sticking out, pushing the lid to the side. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show that, but with the purple windows, it's kind of hard to tell. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, Sedan de Ville. First release, again from my body David, 69 Cadillac Sedan DeVille on the American long card. Nice gold color, chrome base, got the chrome bumpers and the grill with the headlights. Side deco around the wheel arches and this uh, line that goes all the way to the back. It says Sedan de Ville here on the side too and some red paint even. I just noticed that on the taillights. 
and the um, door handles are done too. Black interior, kind of hard to look at. Now some people criticize this uh, these Matchbox Cadillacs because they're too small, because these real cars are real barges. Um, but you know you have to look at it as a toy car. They are made to fit the packaging. If the proportions are right, then I'm happy, and these look to be. Although I'm not an expert on these, don't have a lot of a lot of Cadillacs here because they they are sold here, but they're kind of expensive to run here with our European petrol prices. Second release, mainline 2008 in red. So we got the chrome again. We got some uh, details on the back. By the way, the gold one had that too. The logo and the name, but kind of hard to see on the on the gold and the side deco. White interior, kind of easier to look at. Then 2009 mainline was in dark green. I don't have that. That was a USA exclusive or USA only. Then 2010 we got this one. Kind of a pale pink color. So this one gets the tail lights. It's interesting. And the logos. Does get the side stripes too. And a chrome front end. Lightly smoked windows. Then I got a five pack version also from 2010 in pink. So, same features as the previous one. In 2011, we got this main line. Nice maroon color. You can see the details much better on these darker colors. Last mainline release of this casting was in 2015. Nice green color with this black part on the bottom, and kind of a yellow line between them. No deco on the back because there's a lot of paint on the side, probably. That's why. This time we get a grey interior. Cool casting. And then the last one, the Series 62 convertible coupe. Uh, was a mainline in green, a convertible 2020. Unfortunately I don't have that one, so I can't show you that. It's really have to do with this one. Very nice version, I have to say. So, uh, I will be showing the rest of my Cadillacs um, when I get the second wave, the Mix B. And then I will show, uh, you know, you'll get to see some more of my Cadillac collection. I hope you already enjoyed this one. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.